M0 FXP Hamtech. Let's screen mirror our network radio using a program called Visor that you can see here in the background. And you can download this on your iOS device, Android device, and we are on Windows 11 at the moment. There's a link here on the left that I will put in the description. I have already downloaded this, but it will give you an exe. So we'll just click that and I'm on Windows, we'll click Windows. It gives us this program here, just click it once and then just go download unverified file, that's up to you of course, but click it and then it will download. Click it again and there's your executable file. Run that and you end up with this window here, okay? Then we need to prepare our network radio. Now this will work with most Android devices and a common network radio would be the Imrico S200, the T320, the W2+, the N60. So let's get our device into what they call developer's mode. So what you do is swipe down like so and tap the settings cog or you could go back with your back button just here and get onto your main screen and just look for the settings cog there. Once you've got that, swipe it all the way up and click about phone. I've already got to developer options. This is what you get once you have enabled it. I know it's not the clearest image. Let's zoom back out a bit. Tap about phone, then go up until you see the word build number at the bottom there. You might have to look a bit for this, but it's there. And then tap it seven times. And then it will say to you, you are now in developer's mode. Okay, it will tell you how many more times to tap, but we've already done it. So then go back one and look for where it says developer options. And the one you want to do is scroll up until you see USB debugging. There it is there. And just make sure, make sure that that is on. Okay. USB debugging. That little tab is on. Once you've done that, just back out. Go back to normal usage. We then need to add a micro USB cable to the the micro USB connector in the side here. We'll clip that up. Like so. It's quite fiddly. Um, and there you go. And just pop it in. Make sure you get it the right way around. It only goes in one way. And just connect that. You should hear your PC. And then we're going to click always allow and click OK. And your PC should now be showing, yeah, there, I've just got a message on mine saying autoplay 3T320. So, and Visor has now said it's connected. If you couldn't see that, but it was on the bottom right of the screen, it, there was a notification. So we'll now go to Visor. At the bottom of the screen here, you've got the shortcut here, Visor. Click that, and then at the top it says in the middle here, view device. So we're going to click play. And I'll just put this over the image we've got there. So what it does, it actually installs the Visor app on your device. But we have full control now. And we can even install in the normal way we can if I double click Zello we've got Zello we can go back one go to one of the channels and I can even key the mic you know there you are, I just did it very very briefly there and you can navigate around the phone in the normal way so that's pretty much, that's Pfizer. There is another one called Total Control, but this one is a lot easier. 
So I thought I'd show that, show you how to screen control your network radio. Try it with your, your personal phone. If you've got an Android phone, try it with that. We've got, I've got several different network radios here in my shack and I can use that and it's so much easier if I need to access anything. If I go here, this channel here, and then go to the message and I want to type here, I can, uh, you know, it brings up the keyboard, but I can just type it. That's me on my PC keyboard and that makes life a lot easier. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel and then the next section we'll, we'll have a go at adding Droidstar.